a clinical question for you. A 79-year-old obese female patient is diagnosed with UTI. She is a chronic smoker and has a history of atrial fibrillation and hyperlipidemia. Renal function tests show BUN 27 and creatinine clearance 38 milliliters per minute. Her current medication record includes Simvastatin 40 mg, Docusate 100 mg, Lorifarin 2.5 mg, Metoprolol 25 mg and Omeprazole 20 mg. She is allergic to aspirin and ciprofloxacin. What medication would be the most appropriate option to treat this patient based on her profile? Option A Sulfamethoxazole, Trimethoprim. Option B Nitrofurantone. Option C Amoxicillin. Option D Ciprofloxacin. Option E Metronidazole. Now take a few seconds to come to your own conclusion. To solve this question, let's divide it into different parts. Step 1. Highlight the given medications and look for potential interactions. Sulfamethoxazole trimethoprim would not be the best option for this patient due to the major interaction between sulfamethoxazole and her concomitant morphine therapy. This can increase INR and thus the risk of bleeding. Now let's go to step 2. Highlight abnormal lab values. It is given that the creatinine clearance in this patient is 38 milliliters per minute. Nitrofurantone would not be the best option due to the patient's renal dysfunction. The next step to solve this question is to check for any history of allergies. Ciprofloxacin would not be an option because of her allergy to this medication. Step 4 is to check for approved indications of the given options. Metronidazole is not indicated for the treatment of bacterial UTI. Now it's the end of the options. The correct answer is option C, amoxicillin. Based on the given options, amoxicillin is the best treatment for this patient. And now let's discuss some high yield facts about this question. Urinary tract infections, UTI represent a significant health problem, common among women, in both community and hospital-based settings. The most common causative microorganisms are given here. The treatment of UTI has become increasingly complex, due to the rising prevalence of multidrug-resistant gram-negative bacteria. Optimal treatment options are outlined here. Due to increasing antibiotic resistance beta-lactam therapies, such as first-generation cephalosporins and amoxicillin have become less effective than other agents listed here.